All right. I'm cutting this randomly, by the way, because I don't have my stopwatch going because I'm stupid. Single Hollow stands guard beneath the bridge, defending its mossy columns from enterprising adventurers like myself. It takes notice of me and warily approaches, then lifts its sword into a slow, forceful swing, which crashes uselessly against my shield. All right, I kill that dude. <laughs> my next opponent is a spear wielder. I hate the spear wielders, man. You gotta kick him. You gotta kick him in the dick, and then you gotta deal with him. Ugh, I'm gonna have to deal with the rats. At least it's not a dragon. The rats are worse. They have poison. I'm getting closer to the the parish, though. So, I think this only goes as long as the parish. So, hopefully, there'll be more in the future. It's possible for an undead to contract a disease. Well, we are barring howling more or less immortal, aren't we? It's a sobering thought. We've been granted an eternity in which the hollow hour gradually descend into madness. Isn't that the same thing, though? Oh, we skipped past the rats. We're already at the undead parish. Casting a long shadow over the modest fortress surrounding it, at its highest point, a huge bronze bell hangs silently, awaiting me. This is the place. We also skip past all the frickin', um, um, undead knights and stuff. I'll probably have to fight the Baron Nike knight, though, if I had to guess. Or that damn channeler. I hate that guy. Oh, God. Hollows aren't particularly good shots with these numbers. They don't have to be. I grip my teeth and try to work out a plan of attack. Can I lure some of the ground troops out without altering the range support? It's worked in the past, albeit against smaller forces. Maybe the arch gate detected and frustration sets in. Man. Success. His comrades take no interest in their fellow guards and wandering off. But this single warrior had sights set on me. Oh, man. I suppress my instinct to panic, too. Oh! The boar statue. It halts, sniffing the air. Jesus. I'm not going to read this whole thing. I'm lazy. The boar is approaching fast. I cringe as I imagine this metallic tusk cleaving through my spine, crushing limbs, pulling my pulling my Johnson. That's what he wanted to say. I've made it. I just run past it like a bitch. Psh, I killed that boar. And I never get the helmet, though. That's what makes me sad. I will never get that helmet. I mean, like, one in every hundred games. Smoking fire pit. Man, I... Man, I sprinted hella far. I was like, shh. I sprinted past the boar all the way through here and all the way to the one above Andre, I assume. Oh, shit. We're going to Sen's Fortress. No. No. <laughs> Stitchmeyer. <laughs> but I were clad in armor vaguely reminiscent of an onion, but clearly not hollow. Hmm. Hmm. Greetings, friend. Hmm. 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 Oh. -ho. Forgive me. I was absorbed in thought. I am Sigemeyer of Katarina. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. You've lost weight, Sigemeyer. I am the chosen undead. The pleasure is mine. If you don't mind me ask my asking, what are you doing here? Quite honestly, I've run flat up against the wall, or a gate, I should say. This thing just won't budge. So here I sit, in quite a pickle, weighing my options, so to speak. Ha 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 There's no way this will be easy. I should bring help. Summon Solaire. Walk up to the parish. I see some glowing marks scrawled to the ground. Crouching down to examine it more closely, the sign appears to be several runes I can't decipher. Glowing a rich yellow-orange. Is this the summon sign Solaire was talking about? The comment about being blind to miss it would make sense. It certainly stands out. What was the term she used? Jolly cooperation? That sounds exactly what I need. I imagine there's some very, very odd Rule 34 of this game. Some jolly cooperation there. Glowing. See how someone obsessed with the sun would like it. Who doesn't love the sun, honestly? It keeps us warm. Just kidding, it's Michigan right now. It's like 10 degrees. Oh, come on. She should be doing the praise of the sun jester. Come on. Not enough time to draw two sprites, I guess. Oh, that's mean. I imagine drawing a sprite takes forever. Hello there. <laughs> Splendid. I hope I could be of some assistance. That's exactly what I was hoping would happen. Still, how it works is a complete mystery to me. She seems not quite as here as I am somehow, though I've no doubt she'll be helpful. She's glowing, an orange-yellow light pouring softly out of her armor and skin. Have you not performed a summoning before? I hope I didn't scare you. 
Soapstone summoning is a ritual ages old. In larger, the flow of time is distorted, and the white sign soapstone allows undead to assist one another. Can I summon my own character? Can I summon, like... Can I summon Palavin? He's a badass. Not freaking Davian. Davian sucks. You can do the same, you know. You can think of me as merely visiting, but do not worry. I should still be helpful. I will still be helpful. Green sense of some dust. Well, she's certainly not a ghost. I expect as much. Not to worry. Us warriors of the sun are not like, to be taken lightly. Indeed, dying as a fan will merely send me back to my world. Nothing permanent. Ha 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 ha. She seems happy to help. Something I'm grateful for. I'm trying to ring the bells of awakening. The first of which lies atop the tower here. I'm expecting guards. Well then. Shall we be off? Our confidence is infectious. Having to feed the Taurus demon alone, I feel good about our chance of whatever's in store for us. She carries a plain-looking longsword, similar to my own. It's very slightly longer and a little less tapered. It's clear from this distance. It's well-forged. An excellent blade, kept in good repair by a diligent hand. Probably by Andre. I draw my sword and shoot her a sly glint. Nice, nice, nice sword, baby. <laughs> Want to see my pork sword? <laughs> Sunlight straight sword's seen me through a lot. Sunlight straight sword. Quite the grandiose name. So much as I'm making fun of her, I admire that attitude a lot. She should leave. Make fun of my sword, huh? <laughs> Blade is clearly well cared for. Sharp, simple, and effective. I use the claymore because I'm not a bitch. Or the dragon sword. Drake sword. I should find a replacement for my sword. Dot, dot, dot. Man, I wish he could summon this dude earlier. As early. Enchanted Blade. I've never heard of such a thing. Cherish the white light. Alright, it's gonna fuck up some gargoyles. I wish he could ask Sid Meyer for help. He seems pretty cool. He uses his way hander. I think. Dun dun dun. Coming from above. Uh oh. Bell gargoyle. Surround it. We should be on opposite sides. If only the AI were that useful. <laughs> the AI in my game just like throws a lightning bolt, gets his ass knocked down. It's like, uh oh. Man, the Solar's badass. No, no. Well, all Solar's are badasses to be fair. Take the tail. Oh. Uh. No. Oh, Solar definitely rolls out of the way. He doesn't have the agility to roll out of the way. Let me tell you something. Shield up. A battle axe it crashes against my shield with crushing force. This was an enchanted creature. Glad I kept my shield up. If I had switched to both hands, my sword, I could have that could have been very bad. Or just not be a bitch and take it like a man. Deep long arc across its chest, it rears up on its hind legs. Ugh. Cracked wings beating once to lift it high in the air. Everything in this game can fly too. Or Dark Souls can fly. It's like we have the advantage. Come on. Let's have Solar throw a lightning bolt. It's what he does. Huge attack, we leap separate ways. Me to the left, Solar to the right. The halberd landing between us. It landed heavily, I scramble over its tail. Ugh. Last strike to cleaves the tail off. The halberd comes out of nowhere. <laughs> Crunching into my side of the room, blah, hard enough to send me sprawling across the roof. Ugh, hazy. I thought I cut its tail off. I'm not reading this close enough, obviously. I'm staring over the le edge of the roof. Too close. I need to get up. Pick myself up. Slayer so facing down the gargoyle. Shield raised. Behind it, there's weight. Yeah. That's not the second one at all. The second one, its wings are a lot more tattered and doesn't have the axe tail. This game is so inaccurate. Two... I'll finish this one. You take care of the newcomer. Ugh. Solaire, not fucking around. I get ready to dive left and fire. It can breathe fire. Fuck. <laughs> I roll. Hardly a roll. More of a fall and scramble. But I'm out of the way of most of it. I feel the heat from here. Continue with the momentum. Just keep moving. It's still breathing that way. No time for footwork. Swing its tower in a wide arc. I bring my shield to take the brunt of the hit. Impact with a deep, clangy thud. Punching force sending me back a few steps. This one's not as strong as the first, apparently. May breathing fire exhaust it. A bright flare to my left. So there's on top of the gargoyle, driving my sword instead. <clears throat> so god- Did you say so goddamned impressive? Man, that bitch is so goddamned impressive. Ugh. Tug back, releasing the sword from the belly of the beast. To my right, I see it drop the halberd. This wasn't my most well thought out strategy. It brings up an arm. Ugh. Solaire's saving my ass. Solaire's doing all the work. This is the exact opposite of the game. Yeah, we killed the hell out of them. 
There wasn't even a choice we made. You defeated. That's like kind of gibberish. We won. Two of them feels like cheating. I can't imagine what would happen if I tried to brave that alone. I did it by myself. I'm not a bitch, though, to be fair. I can imagine clearly. I beat very dead very quickly. Just such confidence in myself as a chosen undead. Quite the fight. You were exceptional. We start making out. Ugh. I feel I must owe you my life for that. I'm sure you would have managed. Uh, they forgot the names here. I owe you now. I owe you now. I hope I can be of some help in the future. It's my duty as inherent of the Lord's sunlight. Of course, here, take this. A small orange medal and give the symbol of the sun. It feels warm to the touch. This is a sunlight medal. You should hold it proudly as evidence of your victory with a warrior of the sun. I feel oddly proud to hold it. I didn't know it seems... I didn't know items like this still existed here. I see my time here is finished. I have a feeling we'll meet again soon. Thank you, Solaire. Bye, I love you. Holy shit, ring, this, ring the bell. Ring the bell, ref. I find myself alone on the rooftop, large bell tower, holding the first bell of awakening before me on guard. It was quite the fight. I'm sure I held my own in it, but without Solaire, it would have surely been a one-sided defeat. Perhaps I've been making it hard on myself, adventuring alone. Ding. A lever to ring it. In front of the lever, scrawled a lightly orange glowing soapstone. I found a message. Amazing ring ahead. <laughs> Amazing chest ahead. <laughs> oh, wait. This isn't, um, Quellog at all. Ding, ding, ding. Banana phone. The sounds feel like it'll carry on forever. Amazing ring. I'm an idiot. Hmm. Where's your next? The second bell was below, right? Below what? I've been walking back to the bonfire, lost in thought. I must have taken a wrong turn. It's a corridor I don't recognize. The end of it, a small balcony leaning up a stone wall overlooking a forest is a long dead night. Somehow undamaged is a beautiful shield. The Balder Knights. That's what they're called. Balder Knights. Twice as heavy as my heater shield. Maybe even more, but it's larger and much sturdier. Hefting it around to clear my arm can take the extra weight. Yeah, I got the fucking knight shield. Badass. Fundamentals are very familiar. Put it in front of you to absorb attacks. Oh my god. The Texas is like huge and then tiny. Cutting something to it feels risky though. I'd never lost anything to it. I'll only put things there I wouldn't to be worried about never finding again. I like to try this sword out later so I push it in. Probably to pick up a halberd from the nearby boar. Claymore. Man, we're just blazing through the game. Takes all my self-control not to roll my eyes and the key slides in smoothly and the door pops open without complaint. Damn you, quest. I don't know. I forgot the word. Oh, man. Low growl stops me in my tracks. Dogs growl. Familiar sound. This is where I die. Dun-dun-dun.